Hey, hi, everyone. My name is Jerry Wise, and I have been a coach and a professional caregiver for many decades now. And I've been helping individuals grow and find their own true self and also by getting their family of origin out of them. This video is Covert Narcissistic Father or Mother, The Invisible Abuse No One Sees. A covert narcissistic parent often appears to be just like any other loving, caring parent. It's easy to overlook the signs as covert narcissists can skillfully conceal narcissistic behavior behind a facade of normalcy and devotion. So if you've had a parent who has been, as you have thought possibly, a narcissist, but you thought, well, they're not a malignant narcissist, so maybe they're not a narcissist. Well, and I would also get help uh, uh, to uh, validate your feelings and also to talk over how you view your parent with a professional. It is also important to think that there are other categories besides malignant or extreme narcissism. There's the covert narcissist. And again, that's the narcissist who looks normal, but isn't and may just be looking normal on the outside, but not being that way at home. Well, what are some of the signs of a covert narcissistic parent appearing to be just like any other loving parent? Well, certainly you know the loving part and the caring part and how they may act those ways. Here are some of the signs of invisible abuse that the other people who see them as wonderful don't see. Firstly, covert narcissistic parents often have a victim mentality. They frequently portray themselves as victims of circumstance, eliciting sympathy and obliging you to take on a caretaker role. So often that's a hint. If someone is in a victim mentality, they may be having some narcissistic problems. Again, one sign or one item doesn't make you a covert narcissist. But let's put these together as I share more of them. A covert narcissistic father or mother will also have signs of invisible abuse, such as guilt tripping. They frequently remind you of the sacrifices they made for you, making you feel guilty for not meeting their expectations. Again, that's more of what they do. And the impact and how it impacts you is that you may feel an obligation to constantly please them, neglecting your own needs and desires. And often when we have tried uh, to deal with the covert narcissistic parent who takes on the victim mentality, we then spend a lot of time trying to make them feel better trying to help them, trying to be res and being responsible for their emotional well-being. Number three, covert narcissistic father or mother expresses invisible abuse that no one sees through silent treatment. They withdraw affection and communication when they're upset, leaving you anxious and desperate to regain their approval. How does it impact you? You become overly sensitive to their moods constantly trying to avoid their disapproval. And again, the covert narcissist can do all kinds of silent treatment, and they can look like a saint to everyone else, but they're actually being passive-aggressive, angry, and mean uh, through the silent treatment. Covert narcissistic parents express invisible abuse that no one sees through passive aggressiveness. They express anger or resentment indirectly through sarcasm, backhanded compliments, and or subtle digs. And again, I think of a backhanded compliment or a mixed compliment is saying to someone, well, you're, you're, you're very attractive for a fat person. That's a very backhanded compliment. 
that someone's getting because they're, they're giving you something positive while slapping you at the same time. And that's abusive and it's passive aggressive. So how would this impact us? This creates confusion, self-doubt, and, and you're left wondering if you're misinterpreting their intentions. Because then if you'd say, well, that feels kind of hurtful, mom, or that feels kind of hurtful, dad. Oh, well, what do you mean? I, I said you were very attractive for being so overweight, but they won't mention that part. They'll say, well, I was giving you a compliment. What's the problem? Why are you upset? You're always upset. You really need to stop that. I don't know why you misinterpreted my meaning. Because I didn't misinterpret your meaning. You meant both those things. You meant a slap and a pat on the head. And I don't like slaps and pats on the head at the same time. And that's often what nar covert narcissistic parents will do. And you're right. Other people won't pick up on that. And they might even think, oh, I'm sure they're a wonderful parent. They meant that in the best way, the best way possible. Covert narcissistic father or mother will demonstrate invisible abuse that often no one sees through withholding love and approval. They give love and approval conditionally based on your compliance with their wishes. Well, that's not always easy to uncover by other people. Or they're thinking, well, the child or the person or the daughter or the son or should do what their mother or father wants them to do. Yeah, but they don't realize they, they don't realize it's a withholding of love and approval. How does this impact us? In an abusive way, we develop a constant need for validation, struggling with self-worth, and seeking approval from others. That's the effect it has on us. A covert narcissistic father or mother will express invisible abuse that others may not see through inconsistent behavior. Their behavior at home or where they're not seen very regularly is unpredictable, alternating between kindness and coldness and keeping you off balance. And so how does this impact you? This creates an environment of uncertainty, making you overly vigilant and anxious. A covert narcissistic father or mother will express abuse that is not seen by others by undermining self-confidence. And that is abusive. They subtly criticize or dismiss your achievements and efforts, often under the guise of being realistic or helpful. And again, others don't see this or don't pick up on that. And how does that impact you? Your self-esteem suffers and you may feel incapable or unworthy of success. If you have a narcissistic father or mother, then their abuse may not be seen by others in the way in which they triangle and use emotional and relationship triangulation in their lives. Because that looks somewhat kind of innocent. And most people are not aware of the downsides of triangles. Not all triangles are bad, but in dysfunctional systems, triangles are typically used in ways that keep the dysfunction going. They involve others in your conflicts, using third parties to validate their perspective and isolate you. I remember even, you know, going and seeing the school counselor. And then the school counselor would tell me how I was wrong and involving somebody in that way. And I really wasn't. I was confused. And again, that, that triangulation was painful and difficult. So how does it impact us when they use triangulation? In an abusive way, this tactic creates divisions in relationships making you feel unsupported and alone because you're not dealing with people directly. You're always dealing with people indirectly or people who shouldn't even be involved at all. And that can feel very problematic for children, whether we're children or adults. 
with covert narcissistic parents. If you have a covert or narcissistic mother or father, there are additional abuses that can be experienced at home but not seen by others and may be hidden, such as feigning helplessness. They act incapable of handling tasks or making decisions, relying on you to take charge. Well, who sees that often outside the home? Who would be aware of that? But that's an awfully horrible burden to put on a child. How does this impact you? You become overly responsible and burdened, often at the expense of your own life and your own responsibilities and your own sense of self, which you don't develop. So it can have a great impact on us. Lastly, covert narcissistic parents will experience abuse and offer abuse at home that others don't see, especially when they're covert, but certainly cause lots of problems, especially in the way of emotional exploitation. They use your emotions against you, exploiting your empathy and your kindness to get their way. And again, how many people are going to pick up on that unless they're really sharp and really see that? Most outsiders would not pick up on that. But if you're the one having your emotions used against you, and if you're the one having your empathy exploited and having your kindness exploited so that they can get their way, that's abusive. So how does this impact you? You feel emotionally exhausted and manipulated. Doubting your own feelings and perceptions. So what are some self-differentiation tips that we can learn? And I often will share this one, observe and don't absorb. Another way I think about that tip, if it doesn't seem right, it probably isn't right. In other words, beginning to learn to trust our gut about And I think I began to realize and become more aware of covert narcissists because they're a little more subtle. They're really kind of harder to tell or to identify. And when I would leave them, I would try to analyze, do I feel better or worse? Was this interaction positive or do I feel more negative? And again, if it doesn't feel right, it probably isn't right. Secondly, understanding how their covert narcissism is still in you is very key. What they did, we tend to internalize and then do to ourselves. And so when you think about that, well, how do I emotionally exploit myself? Are there times I feign helplessness? to get others to do my bidding? How do I undermine my own self-confidence? Those are some examples using the ones I've just talked about to identify how that's within me so that I can get these things out of me. Thirdly, shift your focus to building the self you are never allowed to have. Self-definition, self-awareness, self-regulation, which again, none of these things would support any of those things, which is why that's not good parenting and how we grew up. I've got an online program. I would strongly recommend The Road to Self. I also have a free training you might want to start with. Doesn't cost you anything. Sign up for that. It's listed below. I hope you'll subscribe and I hope that you'll comment and I hope you'll like this video Have a great day and be wise.